Hi guys, good evening. So now let's continue with the next part that is uh, part number 678 that is a uh, nut and turn, lock nut and a shaft. So here he has not given the dimension, he has given only one thing that is the diameter of the uh, nut, so that is 10 mm diameter. So this I need to go back to a designing part of examining hydrate nut and bolt with washer assembly that is there width across the corners is two times the diameter. 2 times the so diameter of the bolt we can put it. So that is what we can take it is the 2 times the D so that is width across corners I can take 20 mm and then I can create one hexagon and I can extrude it by distance of 8 mm and I can create one threaded hole. Right? So let's create this. So go to the sketch profile. So we'll go to the polygon. Describe the polygon. I will take uh, 10 mm and the number of sides is 6. Finish the sketch. Right. Extrude it by distance of uh, 8 mm. Right. Then go to the. In order to create a chamfer, draw a circle. Right. Randomly you draw that. So, but the draw circle should be tangent. So, go to the constraint, select a tangent. Select this circle to be tangent to this. Finish the sketch. Then go to the extrude. Select it. My, I need a taper. So 45. Select it. Intersect. Right. I have chamfered. Uh, now I need to create a hole. Uh, there is a threaded hole. Choose the top plane. Once it is done, so snap it. Once it is done, I need a simple hole. The two tap the threaded hole that is full length. There is a flat, and the total height is 8 mm. And I need a 10 mm metric trend, and the two modeled. And the pitch which you will go to select here, so sorry, it is 10 mm. The pitch which you will go to select here should match the pitch which you are selected in bolt. Right? Click on OK. Right? So this completes your nut M10. So let's use uh, the material again for this. Let's assign a mind tool for this. And I can create a body. I can close this. And I can create a component. Rename it to be a nut M10. Save this. Nut M10. So once it is done, lock nut is also same, but only one difference is that this extrusion distance should be 5 mm. So what I can do? I can select it, nut. So let me close this nut option. It is uploading. Right? You can right click on the nut option. You can select it as copy. Right? You copy it to the same folder. So now I can right click on this, you can rename it to be lock nut M10, open this, so only one change is this extrude distance should be, it is not 8mm, no? sorry. So this extrude distance, it should not be 8 mm, it should be 5 mm. It should be 5 mm. So this I can lock it in 10. Sell. Right? So now lock it is also complete and creation of shaft is very simple. Draw a circle of 25 mm and extrude it. For a distance more than that of the length of the 
bearing bottom half or top half. So we know that the length of the bearing bottom half should is at 50 mm. So the your extrusion distance should be more than that of the 50 mm. So let me take 60 mm as the extrusion distance or 55 mm. Right? Simple. We'll go to the sketch. Choose the front view. The diameter is 25 mm. Create one circle of 25 mm. Finish it. Extrude it by a distance of 55 mm. And the material for this is a mild steel. Close it. We can create a component. We can rename it to the shaft. And you can save. Right. So this completes uh, all the seven parts of uh, sorry eight parts of plumber block. So in the next video you can see how we can assemble it and we can draft it. Thank you.